what is good with y'all man so today we are going to be going over the top 10 eagles in madden 21 now this is january this list will obviously change in the future but if you're watching this video in the present um here are the top 10 eagles all right so I, I i'm an eagles theme team so obviously that's why i'm doing this i have all these players i can speak on experience who's good who's not who can play who can't play so uh let's get into the list starting it off at number 10 we got mr dominique rogers cromarty um i'll be honest right drc in the beginning was terrible right he wouldn't he would not have made this top 10 list um as of lately he has stepped his game up i don't know if they ghost patched him or what it is but lately this man's been giving me a lot of pick sixes i don't know what it is like he's starting to kind of play to his stats a little he's st he is starting to i don't know what it is i don't know what happened but He's been stepping it up lately, but I'm, I'm still leaving him at number 10 because there's been a lot of crazy shit this man has done to me that I will never forgive him for. So we'll leave him at 10. At number nine, we got Mr. Reggie White. Now here's the thing with Mr. Reggie, right? I actually use Reggie. A lot of y'all might not know it, but when I run my 335 wide, Reggie White's actually out there, right? We got my two edge threats, right? Javon Kirsten, whoever the other guy is, Derek Thomas. Um, and then you got Big Fletch, Roy Glover, and reggie white in the middle right so reggie white's in there and he there's times he makes a play stopping the run uh doesn't really get to the quarterback that much because the other guys are doing that but um he's not bad though i could sit there and say if you let him rock at a d tackle this would be a really good d tackle to use i'll be honest so uh reggie white is still not bad at number eight we got the zach attack zach Ertz. now here's the thing with Ertz, right he's actually uh he's actually He's not bad, right? He's, he might not be that fast at 91 speed, but for me, like, he actually does play a little bit when I run my, uh, the one, um, ace, uh, slot formation, whatever. I use two tight ends for that. So he actually plays, and he, I'll be honest, Zach Ertz is my red zone. When I get in the red zone, he's the guy I'm looking for. I, I look for him in the red zone, so, um, one thing you could, I can say with Ertz is he does not drop that ball. Um, I, he, he'll, he'll catch that bitch, so that's the good thing about him, um, He's a good red zone target, I'll say that. Now, number seven, we got Big Fletch. Now, I'll be honest, I wanted to put Big Fletch a little bit lower on the list because he, this man, he he's amazing. He plays the run. He gets pressure on the quarterback. He's such a good card, bro. I, I love Big Fletch. I love him. Um, I wanted to put him a little bit lower, but some of the other guys, they're, you know, they, they, are, they are good. And it, it's just really hard because there's a lot of good eagles. There's a lot of good eagles. So this is a hard list, but... Fletch will sit at seven. At number six, we got Mr. Eric Rowe. Eric Rowe's not bad. You know, he he's my uh, strong safety. So he play he plays uh either uh easy he's either playing the sideline or he's playing deep sideline. You know what I mean? Um he's he's good, I like him. Sometimes he has to go in man coverage and he holds up pretty good. Cause when he when he played for the Eagles, he was a corner for us, right? He sucked, but you know what I mean? Um yeah, like he he's not he's not bad. Eric, Eric Rose solid. He he's a solid guy to have on the field. At number five, we got Malcolm Jenkins. I, I love Malcolm Jenkins. This this, this I, I love Malcolm Jenkins. I mean, this man is a ball hawk. Like I blitz him a lot because he's because that's the thing between him and Eric Rowe, Malcolm Jenkins is a way better blitzer than Eric Rowe. Like so you gotta understand, some cards play different than other cards. I don't know what it is. Malcolm Jack is on the blitz, way better than Eric Rowe. He gets a lot of picks. I love Malcolm. Like, I five is a good spot just because after you know the next you know guys, they're they're even better. They're even better. At number four, we got Mr. Jordan Poirier. Now I do not have Jordan Poirier's new card yet. I'm waiting for Tuesday to get my uh, t uh, uh weekend league rewards, and then I'm gonna get him. But I can assure you, this man's gonna have 98 speed. He should have 99 excel yeah 98 speed 99 excel um he's basically gonna be a faster eric Rowe for me he's gonna be one of my users uh yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna sell roy williams right have simmons and poyer in the middle of the field so yeah this guy's gonna be really good right now i could have easily put him at number two or number three easily you're probably thinking who's over him well you probably have a good idea who's over him at number three, we got that demon himself, Javon fucking Curse. Y'all know how much I love this. I love Javon. Javon is just, a, he's an animal. He is an animal out on that field. I, I just, like, how many games have you seen where this man has three sacks? I mean, this is a, he's a nasty guy. He, he, he's, 
And, and if, you, if you don't have him on your Eagles team, team I, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. He, he, the craziest thing is, he's 86 block shit. He plays the run amazing. He plays better than the stats. At number two, we got Mr. Troy Vincent. Now, here's the thing with Troy, right? I was debating whether or not to put Jordan Poyer or Troy Vincent here, but the issue is I haven't used Jordan Poyer's card yet because he's going he's to be basically one of my linebackers, user guy. Um, I haven't got to use him yet, so I didn't want to sit there and put him at number two when I haven't got to use him yet, right? Now, I'm, I'm cool with leaving him at Ford, you know what I mean? Just because Troy Vincent, at the end of the day, is one of the best corners in Madden, period. You know what I mean? Like, he's... He's one of the best guys in Madden, period, right now. You know what I mean? So, I feel like number two is a really good spot for him. And you know who number one is. And the best eagle in the game, Michael Vick. I mean, how could he not be, right? A lot of people say they don't like this card. da 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 da, -da. Here's the thing. I don't really care what you have to say. Michael Vick is the best eagle. Maybe even one of the best, the best card in my... Period, right? Escape artist, gunslinger, 99 speed, 99 throw power, nasty, filthy. You're a filthy son of a bitch, Vic, and I love you for that. But um, those are the top 10 equals, right? If you disagree with my list, say I missed some people, Um, I don't really know who I could have missed, right? If we're being honest here, like Jason Kelsey, you weren't going to make the list. I'll tell you that right now. Harold Carmichael, back then you wouldn't have made the list. Now, sorry, buddy. Um, Herschel Walker, nah. Um, I feel like we did a good job with the list. None of the offensive linemen are worthy. Herschel's not worthy. Karma, like offensively, dead ass. Ertz and Vic were the only people that made it. Damn near the whole defense made it. I'll be honest, but uh, that's gonna do it though, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Focus your boy, man, and I'm out.